So this is the truck dash before we get started. It's cracked up. It's not all it's cracked up to be. It's got some uh, real issues here. Um, we've already popped this off so we can get to the access of it. We're gonna get some uh, Clorox wipes. We're gonna clean it up really, really, really good where the surface meets. So that way we put this cover on, it's gonna look nice and clean. Now after we cleaned it real good, we're drying it off. The shop towel to make sure it's got a nice, clean, clear surface to adhere to. Got uh, Craig, my lovely assistant. We also observed that since we had this sitting in the truck for a week, the inside of this was dirty, so we're gonna clean it real good and then dry it off, get it ready, get the surface prep done. If you don't clean this up real good, it's not gonna stick well. We just cleaned the dash really well and we dried it off and now we cleaned the inside of the new dash skin and dried it off. We're about to bust open this dash skin adhesive that came with the, with the dash. We're going to put it on all the edges after it's all good and dry and then we let it set tacky for a minute and then flip it up on the dash and set it in place and start taping it down. Craig is starting by applying everything on the edges. We're gonna get a nice good quarter inch bead. Well, I'm sorry, eighth inch bead around a quarter inch from the edge. So when we push it down, it'll push out to the edges. We're gonna do that all the way around every single edge that attaches on the corners. Do that on line, not to do it in the middle because it might flex over time. It's better to do the edges. So we're gonna do that everywhere. All right, so now we have the ease of all the way a quarter inch from the edge, all the way around every area where we think it's gonna be a mating. Over here, we did a little bit more liberal on the edges and the front of the face because it's gonna have a lot. Same over here. We don't have a lot to attach on the front, so I didn't do too crazy right here because there's really nothing to even attach to. But uh, we're about to flip it on. All right, so we went ahead and we got it on. It's a pretty good fit. The color's a little bit lighter than stock. We already knew that before we got started though. So what we've done is we've set it on and the areas that are messed up, we're kind of pushing in and we're going through and we're uh, cleaning off any adhesive that came through afterwards. This area over here, you really had to push in the bottom rail to get it to fit and the edges were that, but now it sits nice and tight. Should hold pretty well. What we're gonna do next is gonna get some painter's tape just to put some pressure down. We're gonna put this tape down to here just to hold it in place and on the edges here just to give it a little bit of uh, pressure while it's curing overnight. Tomorrow we'll come take the paint tape off and put this all back together and look at a nice complete dash. All right, what we're doing now is replacing some cardboard and wedging it between the glass and the dashboard to kind of hold the dash cover in place. So that way uh, we don't have to put weights or anything in there. We'll just kind of wedge that in to hold it. We put tape like to strap it down in areas where we felt like it was coming a little loose or a little flappy. Um, Kind of see what we did over there. We're gonna take some more cardboard, probably wedge two or three more pieces up in there to hold it in real good. But then we're gonna leave it overnight, come back tomorrow or the day after, and we'll be done. Take it all apart and put the whole car back together. We went ahead too and put some bricks, my big tool case, and a couple other bricks on top just to hold it down a little bit too. So I figure with all this, we're gonna have a pretty well cured solid surface when we're done. But it's uh it's all up in there and it's installed. We'll see how it does tomorrow when we come back. All right. Uh, so this is overnight, come back, looks like it's on there pretty good, nothing's popping off. I'm going to go ahead and take off this tape um, and start taking these bricks off and then I'll put it back together and take a little mini video of that. And there we have the finished product. It's really, it's not the fault of the skin, it's that my dashes and all that wasn't all that well put together to begin with. It was cracked up really bad. But, um, I mean, it's on there real good, solid. No issues that I can see. I got the cover back. I mean, everything's all in. Color looks decent. Um, this right here is very solidly on. Looks good, not too shabby, brand new looking dash.